For the first time, the Autism Project of Rhode Island is trying to take its mission on the road. The agency secured a more than $1 million grant to help train agencies and organizations that work with struggling families to be able to recognize the early signs of autism at the first point of contact. Eyewitness News anchor Danielle North has a closer look at this groundbreaking program. For years, the Autism Project of Rhode Island has opened its doors to families seeking resources and guidance for family members on the autism spectrum. Now the organization is almost a year into a grant-funded program, taking their valuable resources out of their headquarters and right into the communities and groups that need them most. I think what Claire and the Autism Project doing it, doing, it's key. The partnership is key. Boys Town of Rhode Island's mission is to try and strengthen families who are struggling. They're one of the first agencies whose staff were trained under a new grant-funded program called Creating the Connections. Marcy Shelon tells us one recent example where this critical training made a huge difference for a family trying to potty train a child with autism. We were able to send a family to that and the testimony afterwards was that this family struggled for years to try to achieve that with their child and once we sent them to the Autism Projects training a week later they had success with their child. The primary goal of Creating the Connections is to assist families and professionals to better access for screening, evaluation and the appropriate services for children and adults with autism spectrum disorder and related developmental disabilities. The training is offered at no cost to agencies, parent groups and volunteers. We were always able to work with families who made their way to our door. So this is about us saying um, step one is actually long before they get to our door and how can we be more present in communities so that we are available to families. The Autism Project is hoping at the end of this three-year grant-funded program that screening rates will increase, leading to better outcomes for everyone impacted by autism in the Ocean State. If those rates can go up, it means that we have um, allowed families to kind of gain an awareness of how to go about uh, making that happen and also have been able to um, really support agencies to um, be able to connect their families better. And to learn more about this training, we'll have the information posted on our website. Also, Eyewitness News is once again a proud sponsor of the annual Imagine Walk for Autism. It kicks off this Sunday at 10 a.m. at Goddard Park in Warwick. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.